Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at how we can use Auth0 with the Next.js application to implement authentication and authorization. This is the application that we'll be building. There are three different kinds of users, an admin who has access to special privileges and an admin dashboard, a regular user who has signed up on the page on the application and guest users who have not signed up on the application. These are the routes that we will be implementing, a home route. These routes are provided by the Auth0 SDK and they handle authentication. A check role route that will check the role of a user immediately after they log in and redirect them to the appropriate page. Slash user which is a page just for users, not accessible by admins and slash admin which is the page just for admins and is not accessible by user so firstly what you would want to do is create a next.js application you can select no for most of these options as we want a minimal application to showcase how auth0 works but make sure to use the app router because that's what we are using then you will want to sign up to auth0 after which you will see a dashboard like this and what you want to go do is go to applications click on create application select regular web applications because we are using next.js after you click create you'll see a screen like this and here you can select next.js You can follow the quick start to directly integrate login and logout. I'll show you the steps along the way. Firstly, what you want to do is go to application URIs under settings and enter this in the allowed callback URLs. In the allowed logout URLs, you want to enter this. Since we'll be running in localhost, this will work perfectly fine. This is an endpoint provided by Auth0's SDK which will handle anything required to anything that is needed to be done after logging in. And this is a URL that will be redirected to when you log out. After this, you will want to install the Auth0 SDK. You can scroll down in quick start and copy paste this in your terminal in the project folder. After which you want to set up a .env.local file with these environment variables. Then you want to create a API folder under the app router, an auth folder inside it and a dynamic auth0 root inside it. And then route.js you want to import handle auth and write this this is the original code that the quick start gives you it takes care of everything for you but when you log in it will redirect back it will redirect you back to the original page with the login button what we are doing here is that we are creating a different login handler and we are passing it to the login variable parameter with a different return to. So now after you log in, this will redirect you to slash check role. After that, we can create the, we can get to the check rule page at the last. First, you can create the admin page and what you can do is create a simple component. You can use get session to get the user data from the server. This is particularly useful for server rendered components. Ignore this for now because there are additional steps for this. But uh, this line basically extracts the rule from the user data. Then if the role is not admin, it will redirect it back to the home page. It will simply return a admin and a logout button. The user page is very similar 
but instead of checking for admin it checks for user and it will have user over here the home page has a login button the href is the login endpoint that auth0 provides us in layout what you want to do is you want to import the user provider from the auth0 sdk and you want to wrap it around the body this will provide your application with the user data what that allows you to do is you can it gives you access to use user and it will give you the user object on the client side this is for client side components for server side components we have get session as i have shown you before so now we have almost everything set up we need to there is one more step before uh let's take a look at the check role page in here you can use get session to get the data and it will extract the role and it will check if the role is user or admin and redirect them to their specific pages it doesn't return anything visible so now what's the extra step that i was talking about uh by default user get session doesn't return a slash roles object we need to do some additional configuration on the auth0 dashboard to make it available for that we can go to the dashboard go to actions and flows we can click on login a flow in flows we can add actions that get triggered in particular scenarios like over here in login we can once the user is logged in here this custom action that i have created will be will run and what does that do when you create a custom action you can click on custom here click on the plus build from scratch put the name in and the trigger run time you can just go with node 18 and you can click on create it will open up an editor like this with almost nothing in it just uh, an empty function of exports dot on execute post login and within that you can enter this code this will basically put in slash roles as a key with the roles as an object on authorization you can save it you can deploy it uh, and in the flows login flows you can drag and drop it over here once you have applied that what you will see is that if you print out the user object there will be a slash roles with an array of the rules in it and we can use that to control which pages the which pages are available on the front end for any kind of user now let us take a look at this project in action this is the home page with just the login button you can press login and a login page with all of this the Auth0 dashboard will show you how to set up all of this. I can continue with GitHub. And I have given a rule of admin to this user. I will show you how to set up rules immediately after this. But this user has the rule of an admin. And you can see that it is slash admin. If I try to go to slash user, it will redirect me back to the home page you can press on login it will access my session token and it will show me the admin page i can press log out and it will log out i will show you how it works if i am logged in as the user
this user has been given the role of a user and we are in slash user right now if we go to slash admin we are redirected back to the home page and now i can log out now how do we set rules when you uh, when users sign up on your page they will appear here in users you can also create your own user and assign them as admins users whatever firstly you can go to rules you can create a role you can type any name and you can create it will become a role we have a test role now you can go to users select the users who are supposed to be a particular role and go to roles you can assign them you can assign test that's how you assign the roles with the action that we set up these rules will be available in our code when you do user dot user and access the rules that is available from get session and that's it that's how we can implement auth0 into our next.js application to create a structure like this Lastly, let us see how it behaves, our application behaves for the guest user. Let's say we are on the login page and we have not signed in at all. Can we access the admin page? No, Auth0 takes us directly to the login page. Can we access the users page? Auth0 again takes us to the login page. Now, how do we protect our endpoints like this? such that only through login you are able to access them if we take a look at the home page you can see that this is a regular next.js application let's see the users page i have imported with page auth required and we wrap that around our actual component our actual page there is also return to parameter that you can enter with this, uh, the application will check if there is a session, if the user has logged in or signed up. If they have, it will render it. If not, it will take them to the login page. And that's it.